Hey everyone, my name is Nathaniel Lee and I serve on staff at Center Grace Church and I'm also a member of the missions team at both First Pres North Shore but also at Center Grace. And we have a combined global missions conference coming up. It's the highlight of our year uh, for, for our church calendar and it's coming up in three weeks. So I wanted to spend some time on this video talking to you about our missions conference and why we as a church do missions. So let's talk about global missions. Let's talk about why we do them, where we do them, and how we do them. So why do we do global missions? Some of you may be thinking, we have so many people here on the North Shore, so many people in the Boston area, so many people around our country who don't know Jesus. So why are we spending so much time, so much effort, so much money overseas? Well, why we do missions is that while there is a great need here on the North Shore and we're all called to be in ministry, serving the needs of the church, serving our communities, proclaiming and embodying the gospel, we're all called to do that. The reality is that there are places in the world, a lot of places in the world, that don't yet even have a church. They don't even know Christians. So for example, if every Christian in the world were to tell every single person that they knew about the gospel, and there was this miraculous move of the Holy Spirit, and everyone was converted, everyone came to know Jesus and disciples of him, they, they, they proclaimed the faith. If every Christian across the world did that, there would still be nearly three billion people who don't know Jesus. Why? because they don't know a Christian. And that's why we do global missions, is because we want to proclaim and embody the gospel where the church is not yet planted. We believe that God has called us to take the gospel to all people groups, to every single people group that exists. But the reality is, is that there's nearly three billion people who are unreached and unengaged. They don't know Christians, they don't have churches, and we want to be about taking the gospel to them. Because we truly believe the gospel is good news that changes everything. So that's the why, but where do we do them? Where are we currently involved? And we're currently involved in three places. You can think of it as A, B, C. We're involved in the Arab world, Bangladesh, China. A, B, C. We're involved in these three places for a number of reasons. We're involved because we, we have previous engagements with these uh, places. We have people there already, but mainly we're involved there also because these are some of the most unreached places in the world. The Arab world, Bangladesh, and China. There are billions of people in these regions who don't even know a Christian. And we want all of our money, all of our time, all of our prayers, all of our people being sent to these three epicenters. These are our three missions epicenters. So that's the where. But how? How do we do it? Because you can't just send someone over there to start proclaiming and embodying the gospel. And in a lot of these places, particular epicenters, they'll get kicked out. So how do you do it? But well, we send people um, over there to do, some of our teachers, some are businessmen and women, uh, some work in churches. But the whole goal uh, of all of this is that disciples would be made and that these disciples would in turn plant churches. So the goal, how we do it, is disciples being made and to create indigenous-led churches so that the churches are self-propagating, self-sustaining, and self-governing. So we're excited for our missions conference, which is in three weeks. It's Friday night, Saturday night, and day, and Sunday morning of November 6th through 8th. Now, this year, it's gonna be a hybrid model. We're gonna have up to 75 people, that includes everyone, the speakers, the band, everyone there, at the Ipswich campus. But it also is gonna be over Zoom, uh, as well. And we're also going to have children's uh, Zoom programs as well. You're going to be hearing more about this in the coming weeks, so stay tuned, look at your bulletins, look in the weekly announcements in the FPC news, and you're going to see more about the details of the conference. But we're excited to have the conference, even if it is a hybrid model conference. 
And the theme of the conference this year is chaotic moment, constant mission. We are in a chaotic moment on all fronts, but God's mission is constant. So we're excited to see you there at the Missions Conference from November 6th through 8th.